on June 27th, 1981, there was a backyard party at uh, my buddy Clem's house, my sister's friend Clem's house, and uh, Caton was playing with um, L.A. Chaos, or it was even before L.A. Chaos, I think it was chaos. just Chaos, yeah. And, uh, and you know, they were doing a bunch of covers. I remember them doing, you know, uh, Never Say Die, and they were doing, like, Rock Bottom and stuff like that. But I saw this dude, this blonde dude, wearing a maiden shirt, and I ran right up to him. I was like, dude, where did you get that shirt? Oh, my God. It was black shirt, and it was the first album cover, but it was all in just white, right, you know, just right. white. And I, where'd you get that shirt? I've never even met anybody that even knows who Maiden was. You know, like right. yourself aside or whatever. Hi, buddy. Um, and and he's like, well, I made it. I was like, oh, even cooler. Can you make me one? You know, I fished out ten bucks from my and t-shirts weren't even. You know, concert shirts weren't even that that expensive at the right. time. You yeah, know, so bucks, yeah. And I was like, here's ten bucks. Can you make me a shirt? He's like, no. I was like, oh, please, come on. I went and found Lisa, got another five or ten bucks from her. I was like, here's 20 bucks. Will you make me a shirt? He's like, no, fuck off. You know, and, and I was like, oh, come on. You know, eight months later or whatever, and, you know, going to see Saxon. And I'm walking in as the opening band is going on stage. And and, and he turns around. I was like, I turned to my buddy. He's like, hey, that's the motherfucker that wouldn't. Make me the Iron Maiden shirt, you know, and sure enough, it was Metallica. So I got to tell him the story, and he thought that was pretty fun, you know. Fun. He's like, I believe that I would tell you to fuck off at a party, you know.